Okay, we're gonna copy PewDiePie. Pop review. Anyways, we are going to be going over some new pops. I wanted to put this up yesterday, but I didn't. I put up the vlog instead. But anyways, so we're gonna be going over some new pops that are not technically um, confirm, confirm. So first up is Nova. Um, I'm gonna go through it is. I wanna talk about Vegeta at the end because I'm gonna talk about him the most. And um, yeah, so first up is Nova. Um, from the from the sticker on it, it, it is a PX exclusive. So I'm assuming it's gonna be anywhere from 15 to 20,000 pieces. Just like the Constantine one and the um, Star-Lord pop, the uh, comic version of Star-Lord. So, I mean, a lot of people are really, really excited about this Nova. The fact that it's metallic, um, is there is there any other Nova pops? I did not look that up before this because I, um, I don't know. I just don't care about Nova that much. There's a Batman pop that I don't know that well, um, and I did look him up a little bit. So, yeah. But Nova, um, this is Nova for everybody. He's metallic. I'm, I think there might be another Nova pop, maybe a common version. And then this is like the exclusive metallic version, or maybe there isn't a Nova. I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I probably should have looked it up, but that's okay. These videos are never perfect with me, I swear. Anyways, moving on to Batman Damned. Now, this one is kind of like a psychological thing with Constantine and Batman. I looked it up um, with... Constantine and Batman investigating a supernatural death of the Joker. Someone killed the Joker, I guess, and um, it's like a supernatural version. So I I like the pop though. I think it's really cool how he's um, holding his cape. It look they look like wings. Are they wings or I don't know. I'm just kind of curious why he's holding his cape like on the ground like that. Like why are you doing that? I've never seen you do that before. Anyways, um, the bat signal, bat symbol. My bad. Seems so prominent and like placed on there. That's what I'm wondering. Like, it kind of looks like a PNG on it, but I I'm not sure. Do like, doesn't it look out of place to you guys? It's like, when you look, like, you look away and look at it, it's like the first thing you notice, which um, is kind of crazy. And it doesn't really look like a bat, to be honest. It kind of looks like a raven for some reason. I don't I don't really know. His bat, his helmet, or his cowl always stays the same. Um, I really, I like the brown going on there, though. I'm curious what that's about. It's all ripped up and torn up, too. Really interesting. Moving on next up is um, Miles Morales. This one, um, a lot of people are happy about as well. It kind of cuts off at the end, so we don't know what it, if it says anything after that, but a lot of people are excited because he's like, and I'll probably blow it up more than it is on here, but um, it's, um, I don't know, he's kind of doing like a jumping pose or something. I don't know why people are so excited about this. It kind of just looks like the common to me. Maybe, does in the common, does he have his hood up like that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I didn't really follow the... Um, the uh, Spider-Verse movies uh, pops too much. So I like the movie, but I, I wasn't going to get the pops. Only I only considered getting the 10-inch Green Goblin pop. Um, that's like literally the only one I considered. Um, but yeah, the Miles Morales one, it, I mean, it's cool, but it's just not for me. I don't I don't really like Miles Morales Spider-Man. I liked him in the movie a little bit, but his version of Spider-Man, I just always like, I like Spider-Man, classic Spider-Man. I, I don't like anybody else being Spider-Man, unless it's Spider-Gwen. I kind of like her, and but I like the suit variants of Spider-Man as well. This is Batwoman action pose, and um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty self-exploring. Batwoman. I, is this, I think this is the first Batwoman pop. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know I say a lot of firsts. I probably should do more research about these videos, but I just like talking about the pop on the spot. Like, I like to have you guys get my first reactions to them. So, um, this is what I was talking about with the heads being in there as well. Like, you see the heads. I don't know. I think somebody watermarked that like a million times. It says comics, da damned, con da I don't really know what it says. I can't really read it. Um, but... Yeah, you see like somebody's head like normally leaks like that wouldn't have somebody's head or anything like that um but these i don't know these look really really good and really well put together to be fakes to me so i i highly doubt i mean there might be a new post con saying they're confirmed or whatever who knows but as far as i know last i've seen it um it was not confirmed technically but still i i believe they're personally real it's uh ss2 vegeta super saiyan 2 vegeta um, and it's a common with a chase actually because it says with chase on it um, So that's really really good. That means it's not gonna be I mean technically I think bro it, I, I was gonna say because technically it's kind of like Broly's situation, but not because Well Broly was really a one in two chance of a chase like because you could only order two per household or two per household so um, On Galactic Toys, but Galactic Toys the Broly is not a common it has a sticker on it as well as the Galactic Toys exclusive So this one's a glow chase though And I feel like this one's gonna be really really expensive, but I need to acquire it because I love Super Saiyan 2 um, Versions of 
Goku and Vegeta, and I can't. I hope they make a glow in the dark glow uh, trunks or. I can't talk. I can't talk. Gohan. Anyways, um, I really like it. I love that the eyes glows. I love that the electricity glows, and that's really all that needs to glow. I wish he had more of an aura around him to match the electricity aura. You guys get what I'm talking about. Um, but the fact that it's glow, this is the second Dragon Ball Z chase. Oh my god, this is bad for Dragon Ball Z fans. Like, we already have the expensive Frieza Pops, everything. It's crazy. Broly is going to be expensive because it's a, it's a one to two chance, or one in chance, or two, or one to two chase or whatever, ratio chase. Anyways, I'm getting tongue-tied, I'm sorry. But the chase looks really, really cool. I wish they would honestly do this more and just make them glow in the dark. Um, I don't... Like, cause we have, I mean, I guess they do do it, but not like that. That looks cool. I don't, I don't really have too many glow pops anymore. The Zamatsu one was really, really good. I did not like the Entertainment Earth glow in the dark one, um, too much. And I think those are the only two for Dragon Ball, the glows that I have for Dragon Ball. So, um, but yeah, it's a limited glow chase. So I'm assuming it's one in six. You can, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure if it's up for pre-order anywhere. Um, if I do find it somewhere, then I will link it down below, um, in the description and in the comment section, but I'm not sure. So I'm not going to tell you guys or give you any promises because still this wasn't confirmed by Funko. The only reason I think it's real is because Chris Sabat said in a post, I don't, I think it was on Twitter or something that, or I, Facebook, I don't know, but that he said that he was working on something with Funko or was Funko related and that we were going to love it. So I don't know if it was this one, the Glow Chase, which we were going to love it, or if it's the Metallic All Might or all those new All Mights coming um, to Con, or I think it's Con, I'm not sure, or Shared Retailers, whatever. So that's that's why I'm wondering if it's this or that, or if it's both, who knows? Maybe this is what he was working on. Awesome. He's an awesome dude. So that's the only reason why I think it's real, or I could, I could have completely misread that post, who knows? But um, all I know is he was working on something. So this is just, it feels like this would might, like might be it, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I really like that the common, honestly, if I got the glow chase, I wouldn't need the common because I'm not, that's, I, I don't even have the regular Zamatsu because the glow one is enough for me, you know? I don't, I don't need to be, I don't need to have the same pop, pop twice. Um, I don't think I have the same pop. I, you know what? Listen, okay. The blue Vegeta doesn't count. Okay. One's metallic. All right. And it has a sticker. One doesn't, okay? And then we got we got Red Eyes Frieza and Black Eyes. I don't even want to talk about that one, okay? I don't want to talk about that one, all right? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I know I'm being a hypocrite, okay? Let me be a hypocrite. I decided this now that I don't want to collect two of each, okay? After I got Frieza. Anyways, so I love that they're making Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. I wish they honestly would make the GT um, versions of Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. I don't think they ever will. I don't know if they'll ever get the license for that, but who knows? Um, but yeah, I would love, I love that they're continuing and making new characters like the Broly one, um, the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Like we're getting so many Super Saiyans and it's making me so happy. It's really, really cool. Um, so tell me down below what you think of all these out of these five, which is your favorite. Um, and tell me what you think about the Glow Chase. Do you think it's real? you think it's not? Um, if you saw Chris Sabat's tweet, like what, like, what do you think's going on with that? You think it's All Might or this? I, I, I don't really remember the post. All I remember is it said it was Funko related and that he was working on something. So I'm not too, too sure. Okay, guys, I'm not too sure. But I will definitely get this. Not sure where it's going. I mean, normally, well, I've never seen, I don't I don't know what retailer this would be because it's a glow chase, but it, it could be Hot Topic. It could be um, Barnes and Nobles. I doubt it, but... Honestly, I, I don't know. I think since it's a one in six, most one in six chases you can order. You can like pre-order. So that's why I'm wondering. Um, or, I mean, it, I mean, it could be one in six. It could be one in 36. I guess we don't really know. But lately, all the chases have been one in six, really. So maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me you guys' thoughts down below. Like, I really want to know your thoughts on this. You think it's cool? You think... Maybe they're doing too many variants of like that, but like the same thing. Does he have his hand out? It, look, it looks like he might have his hand out like all the other variants. I'm not sure. It's not that clear of a picture, so I'm hoping Funko actually announces this, and I'll be very happy. You guys think the chase is going to be hard to get? I, I don't know. I have a 50-50 chance on this one because since it's if it's 1 in 6, if it's 1 in 36, hell yeah, it's going to be hard. But 1 in 6, I don't feel like it's going to be too hard. I'm really hoping I get a Broly chase out of those two orders I got. Um, So, so yeah, I don't know. All right. 
anyways, I love you guys, and remember to like, subscribe, and share. Tell me your thoughts down below, and yeah, thanks for the support, and yeah, see you guys later. Bye.